say that it feels right What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Play the Yetis video. We haven't played the Yetis in a while. We've been very busy with our Battle Royale series. Also pack openings and Overwatch. But oh, it looks like we get David Price on the mound today. If you caught our last video, our last pack on opening video on Friday, we pulled a gold David Price. And now it's actually pretty cool that we get to play with him now. We've also been playing a lot of Pokemon Go, as many of you probably have also. Almost everyone I know has the game, and it's, it's actually pretty ridiculous. My best Pokemon right now is a 500 combat power Jolteon. And I was thinking about maybe doing a Pokemon Go series. If you guys are interested in that, just let me know. I know that would be more time consuming though, and I don't really want to use the time for MLB and Overwatch, because that's already time consuming. And I don't even know if I can be able to fit in a Pokemon Go series. But it's uh, just an idea I had out there. You guys have been sharing what you've been getting lately. And it seems like the Yetis are heating up right now. Someone commented saying that they got a Wade 93 overall Diamond Wade Davis. He's probably one of the best closers in the game. And so that's a really good reward there. You also said that it took you about 10 games to get him. But... Hey, it's worth it. You're grinding your innings and getting a card that's worth about 20k. So in my opinion, it was really worth it for you. I was not able to get an Overwatch video out last night. For some reason, the Overwatch servers were down for me. So that is why you see me skipping an Overwatch video and heading straight to MLB. But like what I said in my previous video, David Price used to be a diamond, so... There's a chance that he'll come back up to a 93 overall diamond. He'll probably stay in our lineup, so. So now we have David Price, Cole Hommels, Steven Strasburg, Michael Pineda, the flashback card, and also Jeff Samarja. We're still looking for our first diamond playing the Yetis, though. You know, we got a couple of gold players. We still, we're still playing with David Ortiz. That vision and that power is just amazing. And there's a shot, Dexter Fowler, he's got the most home runs for me, and holy crap, he just bombs that, that's a no doubt home run, good way to start it here, beautiful, Kevin Hart's got this new movie coming up, we went and saw Mike and Dave need wedding dates this weekend, and there was a trailer of a new Kevin Hart movie, and it looks like it's just him doing one of his shows That's in a stadium when he broke the record or something two. but they added a random movie to it i wouldn't buy it i wouldn't go buy to watch that movie but once it comes out on like dvd or something maybe i'll watch it we also went to watch purge 2 or purge 3 actually sorry we went to watch purge purge 3 saturday and it was a pretty good movie it, it was pretty much kind of the same as the second one the same guy is pretty much escorting and trying to protect the person and if but I mean if you guys want to go see it go ahead it, it was still pretty good movie. back to back up and in pitches fastballs that's tough to hit we want the pitcher to have a mistake here and this might be one of them oh just a grounder Oh, he's not going to make it. That's that one speed. There's just no way he beats that out. They're really crushing David Price's pitches right now. But we've got two outs. Second inning. We're up one to zero. Oh, that's weakly hit. Looked good coming off the bat. Corey Seager continues to be hot in real life. So if we keep him, I'm hoping they put him up to a diamond close to the end of the year. If he can keep this going through the second half of the season... You know, no reason why he shouldn't be a diamond. I saw that they recently bumped up Chris Bryant to a diamond. I'm really upset about that because I was thinking about getting him when he was gold the day before. And I don't know why I didn't. I could have got him with my tickets, and I just, I just thought I didn't need him. And then the next day, they decide to throw him the diamond. So that's real unfortunate for me. Right into the shift. Oh, no. Out of play. That sucks. David Price, we're going to bunt to third base. So a few innings in with David Price now, and I've noticed that the Yetis are really hitting his pitches very hard, and he's giving up a lot of hits. I mean, it's still zero, one to zero, but I've noticed 
that he's been giving up way Hit more hits way than my other pitchers. Right I really haven't away. studied his stats much, so I don't know if his control so is lower, but I just noticed that they're putting pretty good swings at it, and if they get through the gaps, that could mean oh, trouble for us. For but one. Dexter Fowler's back up again. We did hit that home run in the first inning. Hopefully we can repeat here. Now no. We'll swing and little pop up here right we have two strikes plate. instead. And There's a good hit. Right. Cespedes, come on. Sucre. Let's Racing hit it out. That's back. not going to get... Nope, and just off the wall there. Run. This ball's off the wall. And, he will stroll in and that ball came in very quickly, so we weren't going to push third there. Oh, there we go. He drops it. We aren't going to run home, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What kind of throw was that? Are you kidding? And that ties it up for the Yetis there. Wow, what kind of throw was that? We were able to get out of that inning. Really no damage there, but it's still ridiculous how that was a really bad throw by Kyle Seager. We may just have to bench him and throw someone else in there. I think Coors Field would be a cool stadium to go to. I'd like to visit there someday. I'm used to the indoor stadiums with the roof at Miller Park. So being outside and being able to see Coors Field and seeing home runs, you know. I'd also like to go to Wrigley Field. That's, I'm closer to that, so I should go there before I go to Coors Field. Ooh, he gave us another pitch to hit there. Well, we were just a little bit late and a little bit under it. They managed to get a home run in that last inning. David Price is just getting lit up right now. They have eight hits, plus our error really didn't help out there. You know, giving up that run. Line. We've got some work to do now. Two, two and come. two now. There's the pitch. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. That was gone. That was gone. Change up. And then we pop it out. Oh, man. That is a heartbreaker. Chris Sale shouldn't give up any more runs here. That heat is just on fire, literally. 97, 98 mile per hour fastballs. I don't know how anyone can hit that. It only took Chris Sale nine pitches to get out of that last inning there, so that's a good sign. But it's the bottom of the eighth now. This is where we have to get it started. They definitely don't want to pitch us for some reason. I don't know what it is. It's like they know we're going to bunt. Wow. That is, I think that's like 10 straight pitches out of the zone. The moment we've all been waiting for now. That game was kind of rough to watch. <laughs> I did not play a very good game. Doesn't look like we're going to get anything good. Probably that Comerica Park. Yes, we get Comerica Park. Wow, we just keep getting shafted with these, you know. Two silvers and that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for staying active and thank you for the continued support. If you guys enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like down below. And as always, we'll catch you in the next one.